Interpolation. Hello everybody. In this video tutorial, interpolation module of eSurvey CAD is explained in brief. There are three different types of interpolation available in interpolation module. In this video, interpolation using TIN is explained. In this example, we have alignment which represents the center line of the road. If we want to interpolate the levels on either side of this line, we have to offset the center line. In this example, we will offset center line by 3 meters, thrice on either side. That means we are interpolating values up to 9 meters on either side. Using MCH command, we will mark chain age lines along the alignment at 25 meter interval. For interpolating values, center line needs to be in longitudinal section layer. Lines representing offsets need to be in offset layer and the elevations representing the surface data need to be in elive layer. Once the offset line, elevations and center lines are moved to required layers, we can interpolate values alone with cross section. Select eSurvey CAD. Interpolate using TIN methods. At cross section, L section offset line, that is command ITI. Select any CS line. You can see that software has interpolated the levels at LS, offset intersection. If we select all the cross-section lines in ITI command, eSurvey CAD will interpolate the values all along the alignment. These interpolated values can be further used for creating cross-sections. It is to be noted that in case of 64-bit operating system, you may use ITI64 instead of ITT command. Thank you very much for watching this video. In the next video, interpolation using 3D line method is explained, which gives better results for the surfaces having more undulation like surfaces surveyed in canal survey.